YouTube musik itu politik bersama orang hebat di samping saya Dede Yusuf seorang pelaku kreatif seorang aktor 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 dan yang lebih menonjol saya kali adalah dia Baku Dapa, Baku Dapa ulang dengan saya Amin Abdullah atau dipanggil juga Muhammad Amin di Yahukimo. Yahukimo itu sebuah e, ibu kota kabupaten e, Papua Pegunungan. Pasti subscriber pembaca buku musik itu politik mungkin belum terlalu familiar dengan Yahukimo. Jadi saat ini saya berada di Yahukimo dan kebetulan ini ada teman dari Itali. Uh, namanya Yakobus dan setelah ini saya akan berbahasa Inggris nanti akan saya tanyakan beberapa hal nanti saya juga akan translate dikit-dikit lah tapi nanti kan ada kredit itu juga oke okay. halo how are you ya yeah. ya yeah. I have a podcast the podcast uh, the name of the podcast is Bakudapa it means in the eastern part of Indonesia If you say baku dapa, it means that you meet people, yeah, and then, yeah, meet people, and then talk, chit chat, and then uh, Yakobus. Uh, first of all, maybe uh, why don't you tell my my subscriber about who are you, and then oh, what is uh, what are you doing in uh, Yahukimo? Yeah, that's basically what I do to meet people. <laughs> baku dapa. Yeah, for me, traveling is basically most important crucial thing is. Stay close to people and try to understand that culture is uh, mostly uh, how do you feel with people, how do you share, and how can you learn from people. And yeah. that's what I did uh, many places in all over the the archipelagos of Indonesia in the last uh, four weeks. Uh -huh. I'm traveling. Uh, and of course, Papua, Papua, or Papua as the Indonesian yeah, say, Papua it, uh, is different pronunciation. Uh, uh, it, it, it's my final destination, my final home. Oh, my, your final destination yeah, is here. because I heard about the deepness and how antique and peculiar, unique it was unique, the culture yeah. of Papua since I was a student at the university yeah. in geography and anthropology. And I read oh, you are doing anthropology also? Yeah, some exams. Uh, some I, I exam, yeah. Geography. Yeah, geography. Well, I most focus on cartography yeah. and uh, reading and interpretation of landscapes. Okay. That's why when I travel, I, I love to uh, travel, in, uh, move around in daytime, mm -hmm. moving in tents and moving uh, when there is light so I can see out of my windows mm -hmm. and at the same time meeting people and sharing mm -hmm. part of my travel. So uh, that was a huge collection of some uh, so interesting personalities I met in Indonesia in these mm. last four weeks. I guess uh, from doctors, lawyers, artists, uh, in Java, in Bali, in Timor, in uh, Sulawesi, Toraja, and finally here in Papua. Yeah. And Papua as a something that is very interesting to detect because uh, I, as I heard uh, I come from Italy so Italy yeah. is, a, is, is a country that maybe we could say we are that one who give more importance to heritage uh -huh. to what comes yes. from the past yes. and we like to preserve yeah. everything yeah, yeah. Uh, it is common in the cor uh, Europe continental Europe right Uh, to you know to yeah, keep the heritage and guess. then sometimes the heritage is you know is a commodity commodity uh, if it you do, if you agree about that right it becomes a commodity it, it is become a commodity to try to do that yes very careful very very careful i agree with that because when you uh, is trying to transform something that is authentic uh -huh. in a economical yeah, issue yeah. Uh, you you are going to miss it and lose it or lo losing what is uh, the absence the yeah Uh, you did. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the main focus? The, the main, yeah. um, in Italy, we made it in some places that were like sacrificed. You know, uh, maybe uh, everybody knows about the Tower of Pisa, that is uh, 
of course, a unique place in the world with the tower that is mm. crumbling down. But uh, we in Italy, we know so deeply that there are so many, 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 many unique places that are not well known abroad. Mm. All people, they go just in a tower of in pizza. A, yeah, in pizza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After that, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. Uh, because uh, you have to uh, guess, uh, to give uh, people the chance and the courage uh -huh. to come from abroad to choose destinations that are not just the one they heard about. Yeah, they hear uh, about. So uh, it means that uh, many choices, not only yeah. single choices. You have, you know, you have many choices to 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 know Italy. Yeah. Or even, you know, you have many choices to know Indonesia. Yeah, that's yeah. what we see. Of yeah. course, we know that, uh, for example, a region and valley of Toraja and Sulawesi is unique because they have their own way to interpret culture, rituals, uh -huh. and uh, architecture. Of course, the uh, Tonkonan. Yeah, Tonkonan in Toraja. Of course, Toraja is unique. But when I move down uh, from reaching back to Makassar, mm -hmm. I decide to stop and see other places south of Toraja. And okay. I found that Sulawesi was wonderful as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like Pare Pare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which the Boog Boogie's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Papua is the same, you know. Sometimes uh, you think that Bali and Wamena Valley is yeah. the only place you can visit. Uh -huh. But if you're there uh -huh. and if you see, you have a little. <laughs> because I walk a lot, I walk in the forest, sometimes I fall down. Yeah, well it's down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could reach other cultures. Okay. So. Okay, you, you know what? Uh, I'm I'm uh, wearing the Papuan hat and then wearing the Papuan tie, yeah. and then this is a bag also uh, yeah, yeah, called I mean, Noken in uh, 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 in Papua. They call it Noken, okay. and then I really proud to use it because we are now in the in the we are the, the, the festival of uh, 12 ethnic groups in uh, Yahukimo in the Yahukimo is running now, and then. Uh, Jacobus has an opportunity to, you know, to see, to watch the 12 attraction, a cultural attraction of 12 ethnic groups in uh, uh, mountainous Papua or uh, Yahukimo. And some My, of them I also visited in the previous Oh, you, you, you know, the, the, in the, their village. So yeah. my question is, what is your uh, impression, what is your reaction? of the of the festival or all the performance i think that is absolutely crucial i was also in the festival of Baliem and here above i noticed that uh, the participation of local people yes. is absolutely crucial central for them yes. because they know I agree. Uh, people now are on the 20 or on the 30 uh, they know their father were using Jereka, they know their father were wearing like this, they know their father yes. were celebrating uh, marriage, weddings mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, they know also that uh, having clothes, like the modern clothes everybody has now also in the small villages, mm -hmm. it's something useful because, uh, because of no, modernity, see its own commodities as you say mm -hmm. but uh, they could not miss it totally and it becomes representation but also preserving mm -hmm. and uh, I know not just clothes but habits and, uh, habits yeah yeah and mostly uh, even the meaning of the relationship that are expressed in these performances mm -hmm. I mean uh, wedding I mean that yeah, part of life, you know. If, if even, are, yeah, I, I, I also I also uh, see how they how they solve the conflict, you know, yeah. how, how they yeah. solve the, more, the problem. More, more. And then I think it's very good education yes. to Papua young generation how they order, how they become wise. They they solve the problem. Yeah, you see that also? in a village, uh, the uh, people. Uh, my guide Seppi was translating. Uh, told me uh, the big man, the chief of the village, yeah. uh, told me that they will get uh, recently uh, like a, a, a issue with another village mm -hmm. close there. 
because there were two young kids fighting. Yeah, fighting. Uh, um, some of them get wounded. Yeah. Um, but uh, now they know that they can solve it in a way yeah. that could be following the, 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 the law. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but anyway, you know, we have competition, sport, including Italy yeah. is the same. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, Palio di Siena, maybe yeah. you heard about. Um, that are some events and festivals that we have since six, seven, eight yeah. centuries. Yeah. And all the neighborhood of the city yeah. or different cities yeah. nearby, they challenge each other. And so it's a way to keep peace and keep yeah. uh, their identity without losing uh, uh, brotherhood. Yeah, yeah well, I'm thinking that maybe the next festival should have a focus or the theme of the festival mm. is about how the peace, how they, they solve the peace. So, mm. I mean, from 12 uh, ethnic groups who, uh, who, who are in the Yahukimo, maybe they, they will represent all of them the way they solve the problem. So, it, it becomes the message for all of the world that Every, every culture has their own way to solve the problem. Yeah, I see that some of the performance, they end like They end like, like, yeah, this, yeah. They, the, the like two a parts, happy they ending, get, you know? get happy uh, ending. and hug each yeah, other. Yeah. But hug and kiss uh, and greeting, yes. it's so central in the culture of yes, this place. Yes, I agree with and you. And in the villages, yeah. everybody comes into the Hunai, yeah. greet any one of people present yeah. inside the night. Yeah. And it will take some minutes maybe, yeah. but it's so important yeah. to be, agree. give a signal of agree. brother. Agree, agree. Yeah. I also, uh, Jacobus, I also uh, uh, see the pattern. Uh, I don't know if you see that. So from the 12 ethnic groups, they have pattern. They are running, they are running and then they shout and then they they, they, in music, maybe we call it like an interlocking. Yeah. So it's kind of like a tight interlock that each other. still present in the culture of yeah, this valley. Exactly. I, yeah. So really, really good, I mean. Yeah. So they, they come and then they dance, they move, they dance, and then they make a circle. For me, it is very interesting how the circle is very important for them. I don't know if you see that. That, uh, what do you think about, of about the uh, shape of Hunai? Uh, it means that all people, it sometimes could be just male, but uh, for example, on ceremony of uh, Christian church on Saturday night, there are included children and women, of course. They just cross in a circle, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe the pastor of the chief of the village could be a little central, uh, close to the fire. Mm -hmm. But all have their own importance in the in the presence, in the moment, in the in the in, in the in the gathering. Uh, and uh, I, I noticed that uh, people of Papua has this great quality in listening to each other. Yes, that we lost maybe because they have not a connection mm. with mobile. We could say mm. sometimes mm -hmm. it could be sometimes. You know, we see that. Uh, everybody will be connected to the world, yeah. but uh, for them, uh, the quality of listening to each other in presence, yeah, in presence right each other. now, uh -huh. it's so, uh, they're so good in, in it, mm. uh, because they know how to respect the, yeah. the tone of the world. Mm, the so of one is speaking, when somebody sh uh, shut down because they just end yes. their speech, mm -hmm. the other one speaks. Yeah. Um, something we should be learning from <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The modern people who who think that you are considered as a modern or educated people, sometimes you have to learn. Absolutely. From I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> yes. I learned many things in the last <laughs> week spending my time with people from Papua. And I'm very grateful for that. Really? Really, honestly. Thank you. Thank you, Yakov. I don't I never felt like I was in a more uh, yeah. upgraded yeah. position. I can't never. Really. Never. Yeah. never do that. Thank you. Very, very good point of view. Uh, and then. How about, uh, this is maybe uh, my last question. 
uh, what do you think? I, I think what do you think uh, they should do? I mean, from the government side or the community should do to them to promote this festival or to make the sport, the festival is becoming better and better. What is your suggestion? Uh, of course, there is a lot to do. Yeah. That's what I thought since I was in Jakarta. Mm -hmm. Jakarta, for example, has a cultural life that has to be developed. Mm -hmm. As a big megalopoly, it needs to be yeah. a culture in the central capital city of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I see that uh, cultural life in Java is uh, well concentrated yeah. in uh, Jakarta. Mm -hmm. But I mean, about local uh, cultures in different islands, that should be more concerned in searching an artistic di direction, I mean. Artistic direction. Yeah, maybe, maybe. It does not mean that you have to change the way you yeah, do the, the way things. You know, yeah. But for example, I could say, just to suggest for me, when uh, the performers from the district uh, make their own exhibition, mm -hmm. maybe making the comment over could be disturbing sometimes, mm -hmm. because People need to feel the voice, mm -hmm. need to feel uh, how the, uh, uh, the musical expression yeah, the of musical the voice has to be. And then after or before you can describe what is happening on the scene, I guess. And sometimes uh, working in uh, his way to having more structured concept of uh, some artistic things should be yes. important. I agree with you, so maybe we can help them to maybe uh, Someone will uh, who expert in artistic direction could advocate and then live in live in with them and then give some suggestion. Yeah, it, yeah. maybe from the government, some there could be some workshops, yes, some yes, masters, yes. some you know, even even yeah. for me, uh, not only workshop but live in, live in, live in, live in artistic. Uh, yeah. Yes. Live so artistic. sometimes workshop okay. in three days. How? What can you do in three days? It is it worth it, but I mean it is. Will be better if we live in like a, let's say, two weeks or three months. Okay. Uh, uh, about artistic direction. Uh, about the live in one. Do you think it is uh, another solution? So, live in designer of live in uh, creator, live in dramaturg. Uh, yes, but it should be never lose the, our glance and our sight on what is uh, uh, really how the feeling of the people for the event. The authenticity, you mean? Yeah. The yeah. authenticity of the people. Yeah, this, uh, no, we will see when the, this generation gap that is between uh, actual young people and the older people that really have seen mm. what we will see in this mm. exhibition mm -hmm. will be just of another generation, will yeah. be two generations. Yeah. And that moment probably uh, you will understand that having uh, some um, transformation mm -hmm. will be natural and will be even suggested that you will be living, as you say. Yeah. Women are also, I think, this. People uh, make, making new colors, new materials, but I can see a deep continuity in the, the way they dress uh, and the way uh, people are dressed in the, in the, in the exhibitions, in, yeah. the, in the performances. Okay, okay uh, last question. Uh, there is some, sometimes there is a rumor outside or uh, I don't know to say like a bad news or maybe uh, another perspective about the you know the safety or the 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 politic situation in uh, in Yahukimo. So you are here, you have experience, you go everywhere in in Papua. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, <laughs> I would be honest. I, I, yeah, of you have to, yeah, I, I've yeah, traveled yeah, throughout yeah, the villages. Yeah, yeah. I heard point of view, uh, and of course, point of views that are about uh, people that uh, really uh, feel this culture and knows mm -hmm. that uh, um, this is like a universal value to yeah. freedom uh -huh. and uh, the capacity to be mm -hmm. autonomous and mm -hmm. uh, uh, rule themselves. 
um, and of course, this is something that has to be uh, known. Uh, there will be transparencies on what uh, the nation does, and uh, sometimes um, there could be some uh, huge reaction. And uh, this is something that uh, uh, people have to be informed about. Mm. And uh, it also, I had, I had the feeling that uh, um, uh, education uh, yes. uh, is something that the government could, should consider more in regions like Papua. I agree with you. And uh, I mean, it's so hard to find a teacher in you. the villages. Yes. And uh, it should not be these uh, young kids. Uh, trying to learn how to write mm. and how to uh, know about the world without an internet connection, as we say, but mostly without a teacher. So uh, I guess the, the government should focus mostly on give uh, the basic uh, condition of life to have a good life and mostly to uh, make the people from this territory have the possibility of choose their life and choose uh, and choose what they can become what they can do because I see many brain talented here in Papua many people that are clever and me yes uh, and I guess uh, there will be more consideration on this um, this is uh, for me something that uh, we, 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 we should. I, I understand sometimes the the, the feeling that people mm. have in the village. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. They, they, they have something that we should not accept. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Jacobus. Is there any last word you want to say to my audience? Yeah, it was an experience also to me to report an uh, outer point of view about many topics. Many topics. Um, I guess uh, I'm quite experienced in the reading uh, places uh, because I'm a geographer. I visit more than 80 countries in my life. Um, but Indonesia has a richness and a variety and a uniqueness that uh, could be not comparable. Yeah. Mostly the warming welcome of the people in every of the island I've yeah. been. Really. Yeah. Everywhere I've been, people are wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, one important thing that I I have to highlight is uh, when we have uh, as a modern people as a even if you are in the capital city, even if you are educated person from university, even if you are doctor, professor, or even you have a very good position of government, sometimes you have to learn from traditional people in Papua. Bakuda Paulang dengan saya, Amin Abdullah, dan Yakobus from Italy. Bakuda Paulang di channel YouTube Music Itu Politik. Music is politics. <laughs> Artist politics. <laughs> okay.